Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Lucia, Product Marketing Manager for AutoView. And with me today, I have our new vehicle-centric ALPR camera, the CloudRunner CRH2. In this video, I'll show you what you get when you subscribe to CloudRunner to better protect your everyday. Each CloudRunner camera comes with three different boxes, exactly like the ones you see here. One box for the CRH2 camera and mounting bracket, one for the solar panel, and one for the solar panel mounting components. Each box shows the box number along with a descriptor of what's in the box. Let's open the first box. The first thing that stands out when we open box number one is the CRH2 camera. As we can see, the camera is placed within a protective package, which is shaped around the camera to ensure absolute safety during shipping. Alongside the camera, we also have the mounting bracket, bolts, mounting straps, an installation instruction document, as well as a reflective target license plate that will be used for remote zoom and focus. Let's look at the box's contents in more detail. All CloudRunner CRH2 cameras have a sleek and rugged design and are specially designed to withstand all weather conditions. On the front, we have our motorized lens, which allows for remote zoom and focus with a minimum range of nine feet and a maximum range of 125 feet. We can also see the six LEDs surrounding the lens, which help capture clear license plate and context images at night. Each camera is fitted with a multi-cell lithium battery for long-lasting charge. It also contains a built-in 4G LTE modem and GPS functionality. Additionally, it is hardware ready with two SIM card slots and a slot for an SD card. If we take a look at the bottom of the camera, we'll see that there is a port and a vent. The vent is designed to protect the camera from moisture, and the port is where the solar panel connects to the camera to power it up. Finally, if we look at the back of the unit, we have another vent, the camera's serial number, along with the pre-installed portion of the camera's mounting bracket, which hooks onto the pole-mounted portion of the bracket. Let's take a look at the bracket in more detail now. This bracket has been designed in-house to allow for panning and tilting with ease when mounting the CRH2. It simply needs to be mounted on a 3 to 15 inch wide pole with these mounting straps. In just a few simple steps, the camera mounting setup is complete. As mentioned, this target license plate will be used when calibrating the camera. With that, we've covered everything that's included in box number one. Let's move on to box number two, the CRH2 solar panel. As we can see, the solar panel is tightly packaged in the box to make sure it will not break during transport. The solar panel is a 70 watt solar panel measuring 28 by 21.7 by one inches. It has a sleek design with a stainless steel border and shingled monofacial modules. The solar panel is effective and designed to minimize shading loss, which is the amount of lost electrical output caused by trees and other obstructions. This solar panel retains a great amount of power and lengthens the camera's total battery life, which enables the CRH2 to perform for long periods of time. Finally, looking at the back of the solar panel, we see that it includes a wiring box with a cable that's just under 10 feet long, which allows for greater flexibility for the positioning and orientation of the camera. That's everything in box number two. Let's move on to our final box in the CloudRunner solution. In box number three, we have the mounting components for the solar panel. Packed to minimize movement during shipping, the box contains a solar panel arm that gets affixed to the solar panel, the portion that attaches to the pole, the mounting straps, the mounting clamps, as well as bolts to tighten everything together. The solar panel arm can attach vertically or horizontally to your solar panel thanks to the adjustable mounting. The installation orientation of your solar panel will depend on your camera's location. All you need to do is simply take a look at your installation document included in box number one to see which orientation is best for you. This bracket is a part that's attached to the pole the same way the camera's mounting bracket is, with the help of the mounting straps. The solar panel simply hooks on here and then it's just a question of tightening it all in place. Once the camera has been fully set up and powered, it will automatically notify the cloud server, which lets the AutoView team know it's online. As soon as the camera is set up and installed, you'll need to take note of the camera's serial number and call into the dedicated line. 
Calibrating the zoom and focus of your CRH2 camera is an easy process that can be completed within minutes of speaking to a Genetech representative. To make sure you have a simple and quick installation process, be sure to have your target license plate in hand prior to the call. Once your camera calibration is complete, you'll be able to see reads coming through your CloudRunner tenant. Thank you for watching this CloudRunner unboxing video. I hope you were able to get a better idea of how our newest vehicle-centric camera works and how you'll receive it when subscribing to CloudRunner. Contact us here for more information.